On the brands that build India, today a homegrown personal care brand that's almost as old as independent India. In a crowded market with high penetration and quite often little product differentiation. Let's see what keeps Synthol fresh after 62 years. When you say Synthol, the first thing that comes to my mind is freshness. Lemon uh, fragrance or uh, green color and Godrej company of course. Men's category of soaps there are very very few options and they position themselves like that. It has a lot of products, it even has a powder. Synthol deodorants? Deodorant and perfume as well. I think the first one came with the red cover, red flap. It's been there for a long time and uh, most men use it. Even, even my father was using the same soap, so I got stuck to it. With that kind of legacy, it's difficult to give a fresh new look and meaning to the brand. However, Synthol has attempted that with a brave new brand promise in 2012. Let's take a look at how it's worked for the brand that now exclaims, Alive is awesome. In the early 1900s, Godrej Group founder Arthashir Godrej decided to make a soap with vegetable oils instead of animal fat in an attempt to assert independence. This was the first foray of the company into soap manufacturing which paved the way for Synthol on the 15th of August 1952. Synthol has added a lot of luster to the Godrej brand and I think the connection has been very strong. From the soap business, we started an entire consumer products business. After soaps, we went into detergents, toiletries, etc. So a whole host of categories started with soap. And soap today accounts for roughly 4 to 5 percent of the group's turnover. Soaps, which have been available in India for just over a century now, were initially considered a luxury. By the 1940s, though, they were considered a necessity in urban areas for personal hygiene. Today, penetration has increased even in rural areas and is nearly 99% in urban areas. Competition has also increased. And in an attempt to add value and differentiation to their brand proposition, many soaps have carved a position for themselves in the skincare, health, and fragrance subsegments. Synthol, which was launched as a deodorizing and skin complexion soap, has upped its premium positioning with a range of variants ranging from intense deo to cooling to germ protection to target these subsegments. Current uh, health soaps are positioned more as health soaps, but they don't give you the best fragrances. So we said, why can't we create a fusion of the best deodorizing soap and or best health soap and that's what Synthol Confidence is all about. It's a soap about germ protection and in study of fragrances. That's a differentiation. We will not foray into areas where we feel we do not have a truly strong product differentiation. In the initial years, understandably, print was the only medium of advertising. In the late 80s, Synthol rode on the back of the popularity of cricket and screen icons Imran Khan and Vinod Khanna. It was an attempt to get the brand's advertising to stand out from the usual soft and female skewed look and the feel of soap ads. It worked well for the brand and Synthol developed a strong male appeal and was seen as a body confidence soap. Synthol, you know, body confidence soap. Well, I wouldn't say, uh, I think uh, the Imran Khan campaign had an immediate impact on market share but I think it had an immediate impact on the oomph quotient of the brand. I think the brand became more visible, the brand became more, uh, you know, displayed some vitality. And I think Synthol, if I may say so, began to get noticed because we followed that Imran Khan campaign very soon with the Vinod Khanna campaign. In the early 90s, Godrej tied up with PNG in the soaps and detergent categories. The brand shifted positioning and tried to get more popular. While some variants like Synthol Lime were very successful, a few others like the Cologne and Sandal ones were less so. After the partnership ended in the mid-90s, the brand tried to regain lost ground. In 2007, it decided it needed to get back to premium positioning and macho appeal. This time, 
It was endorsed by Rithik Roshan. The sensational synthol Dio Musk, long-lasting fragrance for 24-hour confidence. In 2012, it went in for yet another revamp. We are now clearly targeting the youth, you know, uh, the outgoing youth who are very, very uh, ambitious today, want to take more and more experiences. For them, we are developing products which are more relevant to them and hence coming up with these products. In fact, in the latest brand track study, all our parameters of youthfulness, the premium imagery, they have really shot up. Those scores have really shot up. Hence, we really believe that the whole relaunch has really worked. And in fact, it has only strengthened our positioning of invigoration and freshness, which has been there right since 1952. Oh, come on, let's go! Where I feel the thrill of the spring and the chill of the sun. They call the I generation or the technology savvy, highly individualistic generation. This campaign has been driven to a large extent by social media. So while the TV commercial showed eight unique bathing experiences, customers were also invited to upload their own special bathing moments on the Synthol webpage as part of a contest. We got 300 baths from different people uh, where they, there was something which is quite funny. One guy created something called a fan bath where he went outside Amita Bachchan's house and uh, started taking a bath, singing an Amita Bachchan song and he called it the fan bath and there was a motorcycle bath or you know the motorcycle wash bath or a car wash bath where somebody was taking a bath while washing their bike and there was a banana boat bath so the brand was not just built using TEC it was built by making it a part of one conversation social media where we got people to actually uh, we got interactive with the brand we got people to create their own bath we sent people on, on a on a trip where they could experience what this whole uh, alive is awesome you know lifestyle is all about along with the change in positioning has been a change in packaging and product design to get all variants into the same family the new synthol design dna would be to use really distinct geometric forms as part of product design uh, which are again in line with uncluttered visual language and it stands out really well in the market uh, very easy to identify and using a, um, a typography uh, which is not for the fancy of it but something which is very clear very easy to read and uh, something which uh, goes in line with uh, uh, overall idea of uh, synthol to be bold, alive and clean. The soap market in India has over 60 strong brands and clearly divided regional preferences. Synthol's biggest market remains Tamil Nadu and the original soap remains the best seller. <laughs> Synthol's biggest market is uh, Tamil Nadu. That is one of our largest and one of the oldest markets. In fact, this is a market which today has a soap which got launched in 1952 as the first original soap of synthol that soap in terms of its quality and tfm is the best soap in the country right now in that market it is a soap which sells completely at the premium end in fact there is no not much popular portfolio of synthol in that market the category is so flirtatious that on an average a consumer uses about six brands of soap in a year and you know, on Synthol, we are really fortunate to have that real loyal customer base, particularly down south, where they do not even change the variant of Synthol that they use. And this I'm particularly referring to the Synthol Original Soap. So we really have that huge loyal base. The low margin, high volume driven toilet soap category has seen some volatility over the last few years with fluctuating palm oil prices. Gothrich is hoping to increase margins with more premium extensions like shower gels. 
Mount St. Paul is hoping to move up the value chain there. It's time now for a short break, but on the other side, we speak to brand expert Santosh Desai, so stay right there. The market and, and society, in a sense, has moved to where St. Paul always was. The problem is that in some ways, St. Paul hasn't been there, uh, you know, consistently enough to take full advantage of that phenomenon. Welcome back to the Brands That Build India. We're talking about Synthol. And we're now joined by Santosh Desai, a future brand. Santosh, it's good to have you back on the show. Let me start by asking you about the soap market, Santosh, because it has a very high penetration, over 90%. But some would say little differentiation. Would you agree with that statement? And do you believe that Synthol has a clear-cut, loyal customer base? Or is it dictated by current advertising campaigns, promotions, price offs, etc.? Well, for a brand that is as you know has been in the market for as long as Synthol, uh, I think uh, it would have a, a small uh, but a committed kind of a group certainly. But typically in a market like this, because of of the fragmentation, you would have a lot of people coming in and out of any brand, and I think that would be true for Synthol also. Uh, I mean, it has legacy, but its position and positioning has is not uh, you know is not absolutely consistent over the years. So I think uh, chances are that you have a small core group uh, and a, a larger floating population that comes in and goes out. You know, sometimes if you talk to the management about Synthol, they'll say that the brand has always been a youth brand. But to the lay person, it seemed more like a macho brand than a popular one. And then back to male appeal and now youth. Do you believe that this has actually helped the brand stay relevant or has it just confused its customers? Yes, at one level, the brand has changed position uh, and, and I, that is never good news. I mean, you know, it's one thing to do it, change positions at in a decisive kind of a way to keep, you know, to stay ahead uh, of, of, of the game. But I think in, in Synthol's case, it has been flickering kind of a, a position that, that this brand has uh, had. At another level, uh, the brand which is a certain amount of masculine energy, a certain very active kind of a view uh, of the body. And, and uh, from the body confidence on to today, the Alive is awesome. I mean, you can, you can, it may wear slightly different clothes. You would find that there are elements that are consistent and the brand at its heart has a certain, I think, a connection and a certain idea uh, and that what the brand is about. I don't think has changed as much as, as the, uh, the surface positioning would have us believe. A very clear male appeal, Santosh, would you say that that's a disadvantage in a personal care segment where there are predominantly female buyers? It is a disadvantage in the, in the personal care category. In that sense, it, it, the, the playing arena uh, gets limited. The, today, male grooming as an idea, the idea of, of, of uh, investment in the body, all of it has become, you know, is, is becoming bigger and bigger. To my mind, actually, it, this was a, a bigger disadvantage in an earlier time than it is today. Uh, the question is whether the market and, and society in a sense has moved to where Synthol always was. The problem is that in some ways Synthol hasn't been there uh, you know, consistently enough to take full advantage of that phenomenon. So they are they are taking advantage of it to a certain extent. But, but given the fact that if you look at duos at a category have become huge and, and Synthol is a brand that has been sitting on, on, on a duo proposition for decades. If you were to look at where Synthol was, where the world has moved, you would have to say that this is a brand that it, there is a case of uh, lost opportunity here. Uh, because uh, even now it's not too late, but there is, uh, the market has moved to where Synthol always was. And I think Synthol could have done better than what it has. All right, on that note, let's take a look at the latest campaign and get some reactions to it as well. That's uh, awesome. That song came uh, from military guys and uh, something like that. That all military guys were taking a bath. Alive is awesome. Bulk ke usme ek pani bana rehta hai. Usme wo jump karte hai. Fountain ke niche kuch log naha rehe hai aur wo yaad hai mujhe. Okay, Santosh, it's your turn now. What do you think of the latest campaign? I think it's a step in the right direction. I think it's, I mean, I think the articulation of Alive is Awesome is interesting. It, it has young, it has, you know, it has elements that are, that are, uh, that, that I think connect well. But when you are in a less clear kind of an uh, area like Synthol is, I think you, you need to try harder to make a connection with consumers. And I think good first step, but, but, but not far enough. Okay, let me ask you this one, Santosh. What do you think of Synthol's choice of brand ambassadors in the past and now? 
Well, Synthol in some ways has been known uh, virtually through its choice of brand ambassadors. In the past, you know, the Vinod Khanna, Imran Khan kind of time, and, and even going through the Ritek and, 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 and for the Dio, the Virat choice. I think, I think the, the brand ambassador choices have, have all been, uh, I think, good. But, but I, again, you know, you, I don't think we are at a time now where anybody can pull a brand ambassador out of a hat and surprise people. All right, Santosh, we'll have to leave it there. As always, thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you again next week. Meanwhile, it is time for us to slip into another break. But when we return, we talk about Synthol's brand extension efforts. Stay tuned. There's one clear thing which we're seeing in India is premiumization is on the rise. And there are consumers who are becoming more and more aware that there could be uh, formats which give you higher order skin benefits then pure play so format. And that's a segment which we see as a future sunrise segment where innovation is happening. highly penetrated market it's clear that a brand will have to look for extensions and variants let's take a look at what could be synthol's future growth drivers the synthol brand is no longer only about soaps the brand is trying to position itself as a complete personal care brand and has a range of shower gels deodorants and talcum powders in addition to soaps there is a new format which is evolving within soaps and that's a progression which is likely to happen over the next uh, I still call it a sunrise category, but I guess that's something which will evolve over the next five years in India. And my feeling is, this is a segment which is where face washes were five years back, and that is the body wash segment, or the sh chargel segment. Uh, because there's one clear thing which we're seeing in India is premiumization is on the rise, and there are consumers who are becoming more and more aware that there could be uh, formats which give you higher order skin benefits then pure play soap format. And that's a segment which we see as a future sunrise segment where innovation is happening. And we are present, that's why we're in that segment already. The bar soaps is one of the largest contributing segments within the personal care. It accounts for about astonishing 21% of this entire category. And it's uh, valued at about 13,000 odd crores. Uh, from a growth perspective, uh, the, the bar soap segment per se has been going at only about a 3% CAGR. However, if you look at the, the other way, the liquid soaps market, uh, though very, very small today, it's going at a 19% uh, CHR to that extent. While chasing the premium market, rural India cannot be ignored. Just like the sachet and small bottle help the shampoo and soft drinks market, Goldridge is hoping that the 10 rupee pack will help its soap business and Synthol in particular garner a strong share of the rural market. Synthol targeting both ends of the spectrum there. That's all we have for you on this week's episode of the Brands That Build India. We hope you enjoyed watching the show. Do tune in next week, same time, for another fascinating brand biography. Till then, from the entire team, goodbye and many thanks for watching.